The Grand County Sheriff and three deputies are on leave this evening. He fired at a suspected burglar who had a knife after a burglary call at a liquor store. It all happened in the small town of Tabernash around 2.30 this morning. The suspect is in critical condition right now. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski is in the small Grand County town. It's just such a small, close-knit community. This is probably the most exciting thing that's happened in Tabernash. With a population of only 160, Tabernash is normally a place you pass through on the way to somewhere else, but not today. Everybody's stopping, everybody's really wondering what's going on because this, this just doesn't happen here. This small mountain community was turned into a crime scene. We're not used to having crime up here, so it was kind of uh, a little alarming. Investigators say 20 year old Connor McLaird broke into this liquor store, shattered the front door, and then took off. Never felt unsafe working across from the liquor store. Grand County Sheriff Brett Schrotland and his canine were able to track the suspect to this nearby inn. This is video from an interview we did with him in July. After he found the suspect, deputies say McLaird ran at the sheriff with a knife. As a result of that, the individual was shot multiple times by Sheriff Schrotlin. The sheriff and three other deputies are now on leave. For people who live here, it's all still a shock. So to have something of this nature happen here in such a small town is uh, it's definitely out of the ordinary. You can see investigators still have the liquor store blocked off with crime tape. As for the suspect, he was airlifted to St. Anthony's Hospital in Lakewood. We're told he's expected to be okay. In Tabernash tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News. Now, in larger counties, the sheriff doesn't typically respond to burglary calls, but in small counties like Grand, it is a little more common.